We begin in the middleweight division about scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner. He is coming off a win over Jakob Steuben in Varna last month. His professional record, 18 wins with four losses. Five of those wins have come by way of knockout. At six feet, one inch tall, 1.87 meters, he weighed in at 187.3 pounds and even 85 kilograms. Fighting tonight out of Varna, Bulgaria, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Edward, Mr. Action, Alexandria. Here now is his opponent fighting out of the white corner, ranked among the world's top 10 prospects. His professional record, perfect. 14 fights, 14 wins, and 11 of those wins have come by knockout. He stands six feet, four inches tall, 1.94 meters, and he weighed in at five time at an even 187 pounds, 84.8 kilos. Fighting out of Morocco, ladies and gentlemen, here is Mohamed Tushazi. And your referee for this contest is Tomislav Novosel. Fighters. Gentlemen, you know the rules. Please follow my command. Touch your gloves if you want. Step back in the corner. Okay. Here we go. A nice stare down for this opening bout here for Glory 89 in Bulgaria. As the Bulgarians cheer on Alexanian, but a lot of hype behind Mohamed Tusashi in the white gloves. I'm very interested to see this fight because they're both ranked in top 10 in beyond kickboxing ranking. And we see the hype with Israel with Tusashi. I mean, you get to see him and train with Tusashi on a regular, so I'm sure you're excited to see how he performs. Yeah, I'm very excited. And you can see he's a very len len lengthy guy with the long arms, long legs, small body. It's like the perfect body for kickboxer. And, you know, you talked about a lot of similarities to Badr Hari, and even the way he bounces, he throws his left kick. I'm seeing it. Yeah, you can see the influence of Badr for sure. You can see the influence of Badr on a lot of people, <laughs> but... He also has a similar look, similar build, and he's also from Morocco, so. Yep, good jab, good left kick, what Bader's really known for. We see now very good jab from Tusashi. Ooh. Good left Get kick. Up. He really pops it inside, in between the hands. Fight. Still need to see a little bit more for Alexan. Alexanian. Decent start before this low blow. He's pressuring. Yeah, he's pressuring, but not doing very much. Die. Most Fight. of the damage and things is just from Tusashi. Yep, nice jab setting up Tusashi's big offense. I wonder how this fight will continue. Will we start to see any more counters from Alexanian, or this is just going to be it? Alexander needs to use that high guard pressure and then try to counter or try to get maybe Tusashi against the ropes before he attacks. You can see him going for body, but he also needs to cut, cut the ring a little bit better so he keeps him in the corner, not letting him out of the corner every time. Yeah, you don't want to move backwards against Tusashi because he's going to keep attacking you with heavy combinations for Alexander. It's safer inside, you think? Yeah, I think because uh, you can see the power from... Uh, from Tusashi hands, when he starts to throw, he really goes all in. And you can see he wants to change left kick body, left kick, guy kick. That's one of his highlights in the past from his fight. But Tusashi likes that jab, follow overhand, or jab to the left kick. Well, we see a good counter left from Alexanian. Hope him to use that more. Yep, I agree. I think sometimes when Tusashi throws that right hand, it doesn't come back to his chin right away. And he opens up too much. That's a chance for Alexanian to expose that and go for the chin. Yep, he's going to have to step in. He's trying with that left hook. But easier said than done against that tall frame of Tusashi. 
Yeah, and Tusash is also moving pretty good. When he comes to the corner, he is immediately changing the angles to get out of them. Good first round here for the Mike's Gym's fighter from Morocco, Mohamed Tusashi. You see Big Mike in the corner with the young fighter, former Infusion champion. Notable wins over Robin Siric, who you can watch at the House of Glory. As we hear Antonio keeps saying, Badr Hari, a huge influence. It must be special having Big Mike in his corner too because of that. Yeah, and I think this was an easy first round for Tusashi. He just grabbed the, he grabbed the round for himself. Edward Alexanian, Mr. Action. Antonio, what does he have to do to win this fight? I think he needs to expose the right hand because he doesn't keep, uh, brings it back to his head fully, so go with the left hook to his head and not just stop there, but cut the ring and use the low kicks to make him fall. All right, good, good breakdown, Antonio. Couldn't have said it better myself. Hey, today I'm Joe, you're Tom. That's it. That's why you got all the good insight. <laughs> All right, round two. Mohamed Tusashi, white gloves. Alexanian, black gloves. A little bit more urgency and pressure maybe from Alexanian now. Felt the power of Tusashi. Yeah, and... Sli Sa slight edge in the striking, Antonio. Sorry to cut you off for yeah, Tusashi. Tusashi can really see the power. When he starts throwing jab, he really goes into it. And his jab is really good, goes really to the middle of the guard of the Alexanian. Yep, now he's taking little angles too, like you were mentioning in the first round. Very, very subtle, but very effective. We can start seeing, also see him use the push kick more. And it's very effective. Alexanian, maybe a little bit more success hitting the body. Tusashi is just very aggressive when he attacks. Tusashi is right now just picking him apart. High, low, body, punches. Oh, oh, I think it's the body shot that got Alexanian. Two, three. Also very four, impressive. Five, also one more young six, talent here. It's crazy seven, the amount of talent here. Can the 21 year old from the Rocky get a second round finish? The Bulgarians cheering out, but there's a left hook from Tusash and he goes for the kill. He's going to finish it. Oh. Hold the guard, right hand, left hook. Alexanian hits the canvas Three. for the second time here in the Four. second round. One, Six. One more Seven. knockdown, the fight's hey. over for Tusashi. Hey. We will Four. see, can Alexanian do something or will he just keep, keep, get beaten on? Alexanian landed a counter left hook, but oh, the knee to the head just Four. landed for Tusashi. Oh, Alexanian quit, the fight is over. Yeah, he put his hand up, the fight's done. Three. He got the clean Four. knee in between Four. while going back. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, it's official. Ten, there you go, Muhammad Tusashi. Three knockdown, TKO finish. What a performance by the 21-year-old Antonio. Yeah, great performance. Today, today, what we see, the talent in glory, it's crazy. Tusashi, Christo, a lot of young fighters coming to glory. It's going to just be better for the division, for organization and everybody. I you, can't train at Mike Jim, Antonio. And Big Mike said, take a picture with this kid because he's going to be a star. So I have a picture here with Mohamed Tusashi at Mike's gym. So I'm excited to see how he develops. Yeah, you can, you can see the talent is there. Now we just need, him, need to see him against the stronger guy. But for what you see now, I think he has a very bright future in front of him. All right, some highlights and the decision will make it official next. We welcome you back to a fantastic fight here for the young 21-year-old Muhammad Tusashi. Great performance, great finish. Antonio, take us through the fight. Yeah, Tusashi just ran over him like a train. He didn't let him do anything. There was one good left, good maybe counter from Alexanian, and that's it. All the fight is just Tusashi displaying his skill. And in the end, we saw that Alexanian just quit. When he took the knee in between, he just dropped down and said, I don't need any more, any more of this. Yeah, you saw him put his hand up, but look at this finish. The way he went overhand, left hook to the body, changing levels, changing angles. Here's a knee feint. Brought up that lead leg to bring that back leg up the middle. Yeah, you can really see the talent here and the way he fights for only 21-year-old. 
a bright future in front of this kid, and I cannot wait to see more of him. And I'm sure we're going to see a lot more from him. And Antonio, take us through these stats here. Oh, here we see the punches. It's all just to Sashi. He just obliterated the Alexanian with everything in the total of 120 and 44 total against the 25 of 87 of Alexanian. It's crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, you watched it as it happened. A referee, Tomislav Novosel, waves off this contest with an official time of two minutes of the second round, declaring your winner by technical knockout and still undefeated, Mohamed Tushazi. All right, I'm here with your winner, Mohamed Tusashi. A glory debut doesn't get much better than that. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling happy. I think uh, it's a glory debut uh, where people dream about over. So I'm really happy today. Well, you came in, you looked very technical, you mixed up your strikes. For your debut, break down your performance for us. Uh, I have been fighting, uh, so I have been fighting a while. I think eight months I didn't have fight. So the first round, it was a little bit, uh, yeah, uh, looking how we knock him out. I know you're excited here. Your hero's fighting here tonight. How does it feel here overall, having Big Mike in your corner, body fighting on this card? It's almost a dream come true for you. It feels amazing, you know. These are legends in the sport, Mike, Bader, and now I'm working with them. And when I was a little kid, I was looking to bother Mike, you know, and now Mike is in my corner and tell, tells me, you, not, you need to knock this guy out. So, I really have today. Well, I think we're all excited to see your future. Bulgaria, let's hear it for your winner, Mohamed Tusashi. Oh, here we can see the dominance of Tusashi. He was just going straight through Alexanian with everything, his boxing power, his kick, his knee, he demonstrated everything what he, what he needs to demonstrate to show us his talent and power. You know what impressed me even more, Antonio? How well-spoken he is, how nice he is. He's a calm killer. I mean, I think he's got the full package from his personality and his fighting skills are just spectacular. And he gets knockouts. Yeah, and I think we are watching the future superstar of kickboxing. And yeah, just look at this what else he done. The opponent just backs down and don't want any more of that.